Pine, Wikipedia article audio. C. Pinus classification for complete taxonomy to species level. C. List of pines by region for list of species by geographic distribution. Etymology A pine is any conifer in the genus Pinus, slash P-I-N-U-S slash, of the family Pinaceae. Pinus is the sole genus in the subfamily Pinoidae. The plant list compiled by the Royal Botanic Gardens, Q, and Missouri Botanical Garden accepts 126 species names of pines as current, together with 35 unresolved species and many more synonyms. The modern English name pine derives from Latin pinus, which some have traced to the Indo-European base asterisk pt resin. Before the 19th century, pines were often referred to as firs. In some European languages, Germanic cognates of the Old Norse name are still in use for pines in Danish fyr, in Norwegian fura slash fur slash furu, Swedish fura slash furu, Dutch furen, and German far but in modern English. Fur is now restricted to fur and Douglas fir. Description Pine trees are evergreen, coniferous resinous trees growing 380 m tall, with the majority of species reaching 1545 m tall. The smallest are Siberian dwarf pine and Potosi pinion, and the tallest is an 81.79 m tall ponderosa pine located in southern Oregon S. Rogue River Siskiyou National Forest. Bark Pines are long-lived, and typically reach ages of 101,000 years, some even more. The longest-lived is the Great Basin Bristlecone Pine, Pinus longava. One individual of this species, dubbed Methuselah, is one of the world's oldest living organisms at around 4,600 years old. This tree can be found in the White Mountains of California. An older tree, now cut down, was dated at 4,900 years old. It was discovered in a grove beneath Wheeler Peak and it is now known as Prometheus after the Greek immortal. Foliage The bark of most pines is thick and scaly, but some species have thin, flaky bark. The branches are produced in regular pseudo-whorls, actually a very tight spiral but appearing like a ring of branches arising from the same point. Many pines are uninodal, producing just one such whorl of branches each year, from buds at the tip of the year's new shoot but others are multinodal, producing two or more whorls of branches per year. The spiral growth of branches, needles, and cone scales is arranged in Fibonacci number ratios. The new spring shoots are sometimes called candles, they are covered in brown or whitish bud scales and point upward at first, then later turn green and spread outward. These candles offer foresters a means to evaluate fertility of the soil and vigor of the trees. Cones Pines have four types of leaf. Taxonomy, nomenclature, and codification. Pines are mostly monoecious, having the male and female cones on the same tree, though a few species are subdioecious, with individuals predominantly but not wholly, single sex. The male cones are small, typically 1-5 cm long, and only present for a short period, falling as soon as they have shed their pollen. The female cones take 1.53 years to mature after pollination, with actual fertilization delayed one year. At maturity the female cones are 360 cm long. Each cone has numerous spirally arranged scales, with two seeds on each fertile scale, the scales at the base and tip of the cone are small and sterile, without seeds. The seeds are mostly small and winged, and are anemophilous, 
but some are larger and have only a vestigial wing, and are bird dispersed. At maturity, the cones usually open to release the seeds, but in some of the bird dispersed species, the seeds are only released by the bird breaking the cones open. In others, the seeds are stored in closed cones for many years until an environmental cue triggers the cones to open, releasing the seeds. The most common form of serotiny is pyrosense, in which a resin binds the cones shut until melted by a forest fire. Pines are gymnosperms. The genus is divided into three subgenera, which can be distinguished by cone, seed, and leaf characters. Distribution Ecology Uses Lumber in construction Pines are native to the northern hemisphere, and in a few parts of the tropics in the southern hemisphere. Most regions of the northern hemisphere host some native species of pines. One species crosses the equator in Sumatra to 2 degrees south. In North America, Various species occur in regions at latitudes from as far north as 66 degrees north to as far south as 12 degrees north. Pines may be found in a very large variety of environments, ranging from semi-arid desert to rainforests, from sea level up to 5,200 meters, from the coldest to the hottest environments on Earth. They often occur in mountainous areas with favorable soils and at least some water. Various species have been introduced to temperate and subtropical regions of both hemispheres, where they are grown as timber or cultivated as ornamental plants in parks and gardens. A number of such introduced species have become naturalized, and some species are considered invasive in some areas and threaten native ecosystems. Pines grow well in acid soils, some also on calcareous soils, most require good soil drainage, preferring sandy soils, but a few can tolerate poorly drained wet soils. A few are able to sprout after forest fires. Some species of pines need fire to regenerate, and their populations slowly decline under fire suppression regimens. Several species are adapted to extreme conditions imposed by elevation and latitude. The pinyon pines and a number of others, notably Turkish pine and grey pine, are particularly well adapted to growth in hot, dry semi-desert climates. The seeds are commonly eaten by birds, such as grouse, crossbills, jays, nuthatches, siskins, and woodpeckers and by squirrels. Some birds, notably the spotted nutcracker, Clark's nutcracker, and pinion jay, are of importance in distributing pine seeds to new areas. Pine needles are sometimes eaten by some Lepidoptera species, the Symphyton species pine sawfly, and goats. Pine pollen may play an important role in the functioning of detrital food webs. Nutrients from pollen aid detritivores in development, growth, and maturation, and may enable fungi to decompose nutritionally scarce litter. Pine pollen is also involved in moving plant matter between terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. Pines are among the most commercially important tree species valued for their timber and wood pulp throughout the world. In temperate and tropical regions, they are fast-growing softwoods that grow in relatively dense stands, their acidic decaying needles inhibiting the sprouting of competing hardwoods. Commercial pines are grown in plantations for timber that is denser, more resinous, and therefore more durable than spruce. Pine wood is widely used in high-value carpentry items such as furniture, window frames, paneling, floors, and roofing and the resin of some species is an important source of turpentine. Because pines have no insect or decay-resistant qualities after logging, 
they are generally recommended for construction purposes as indoor use only. This wood left outside can be expected to last no more than 12-18 months depending on the local climate. It is commonly referred to by several different names which include North American timber, spruce slash pine slash fir, and whitewood. Many pine species make attractive ornamental plantings for parks and larger gardens with a variety of dwarf cultivars being suitable for smaller spaces. Pines are also commercially grown and harvested for Christmas trees. Pine cones, the largest and most durable of all conifer cones, are craft favorites. Pine boughs appreciated especially in wintertime for their pleasant smell and greenery, are popularly cut for decorations. Pine needles are also used for making decorative articles such as baskets, trays, pots, etc., and during the U.S. Civil War, the needles of the longleaf pine Georgia pine were widely employed in this. This originally Native American skill is now being replicated across the world. Pine needle handicrafts are made in the U.S., Canada, Mexico, Nicaragua, and India. Seed leaves on seedlings are born in a whirl of 424, juvenile leaves, which follow immediately on seedlings and young plants are 2-6 cm long, single, green, or often blue-green, and arranged spirally on the shoot. These are produced for 6 months to 5 years, rarely longer. Scale leaves, similar to bud scales, are small, brown and not photosynthetic, and arranged spirally like the juvenile leaves, needles, the adult leaves are green and bundled in clusters called fascicles. The needles can number from 1 to 7 per fascicle, but generally number from 2 to 5. Each fascicle is produced from a small bud on a dwarf shoot in the axil of a scale leaf. These bud scales often remain on the fascicle as a basal sheath. The needles persist for 1.540 years, depending on species. If a shoot is damaged, the needle fascicles just below the damage will generate a bud which can then replace the lost leaves. Pine needles serve as food for various Lepidoptera. See list of Lepidoptera that feed on pines. Several species are attacked by nematodes, causing pine wilt disease, which can kill some quickly. When grown for sawing timber, Pine plantations can be harvested after 30 years, with some stands being allowed to grow up to 50. Imperfect trees are removed in a thinning operation every 5-10 years. Thinning allows the best trees to grow much faster, because it prevents weaker trees from competing for sunlight, water, and nutrients. Young trees removed during thinning are used for pulpwood while most older ones are good enough for saw timber. The final wood quality can be improved by pruning small branches at ages 5, 7, and 9. Pruning usually goes up to a height of 6 meters. This results in smooth timber with no knots, which is considerably more valuable. A 30-year-old commercial pine tree grown in good conditions will be about 0.3 m in diameter and about 20 m high. After 50 years, the same tree will be about 0.5 m in diameter and 25 m high, and its wood will be worth about 7 times as much as the 30-year-old tree. Trees are planted 3-4 m apart, or about 1,000 per hectare. Some species have large seeds, called pine nuts, that are harvested and sold for cooking and baking. They are an essential ingredient of pesto alla genovese. The soft, moist, white inner bark found clinging to the woody outer bark is edible and very high in vitamins A and C. 
It can be eaten raw in slices as a snack or dried and ground up into a powder for use as an ersatz flour or thickener in stews, soups, and other foods, such as bark bread. Adirondack Indians got their name from the Mohawk Indian word atiru tax, meaning tree eaters. A tea made by steeping young, green pine needles in boiling water is high in vitamins A and C. In Eastern Asia, pine and other conifers are accepted among consumers as a beverage product, and used in teas, as well as wine. Pine needles from Pinus densiflora were found to contain 30.54 mg/g of pronthocyanidins when extracted with hot water. Comparative to ethanol extraction resulting in 30.11 mg/g, simply extracting in hot water is preferable. Pronthocyanidins, the nutrient for which wine and grapes are famed and grape seed extract is used medicinally, is in nearly the same quantity in pine needles of P. densiflora as it is in grape juice. Grape seed extract from cultivated grapes is 48.9 to 96.7 mg g. Pines have been a frequently mentioned tree throughout history, including in literature, paintings, and other art, and in religious texts. Writers of various nationalities and ethnicities have written of pines. Among them, John Muir, Dora Sigerson Shorter, Eugene Field, the Chinese, Theodore Winthrop, and Rev. George Allen D.D. Pines are often featured in art, whether painting and fine art, drawing, photography, or folk art. Pine trees, as well as other conifers, are mentioned in the Bible. In Nehemiah 8.15, the King James Version renders the following translation. Ornamental Uses And that they should publish and proclaim in all their cities, and in Jerusalem, saying, Go forth unto the mount, and fetch olive branches, and pine branches, and myrtle branches, and palm branches, and branches of thick trees, to make booths, as it is written. Pines are also mentioned in Isaiah 41. 17. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I the Lord will hear them, I the God of Israel will not forsake them. 18. I will open rivers in high places, and fountains in the midst of the valleys, I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. 19. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shitta tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree, I will set in the desert the fir tree, and the pine, and the box tree together, 20. That they may see, and know, and consider, and understand together, that the hand of the Lord hath done this, and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. And in Isaiah 60. 13. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. Wildlife Farming Food and Nutrients Pinus subage Pinus, the yellow, or hard pine group generally with harder wood and two or three needles per fascicle, pinus subage. Ducumpa pinus, the foxtail, or pinion group, pinus subage. Strobus, the white, or soft pine group, generally with softer wood and five needles per fascicle. In popular culture. Literature. Art. Religious texts Bibliography